first murderer in history. No, when Abel was killed, his essence was widely inherited as seeds for the future, but Cain's punishment from God was to be forever reincarnated while bearing that sin. What? It is the accumulation of memories. However often he is reborn, he remembers everything from his past lives and faces his sin. Not so. Cain claimed that he was never loved by God, but that isn't true. If God did not love him, he wouldn't have given Cain time to reflect on his actions. The accumulation of memories is God's love, that he might one day realize the truth. So God's hoping he'll someday understand that, huh? Unfortunately, he seems to have spent the time plotting his revenge against God. Yes, he sought to make Abel, God's beloved child, lead demons in a war against God. How painful it would be to him for his child to consort with demons and rebel. That was the revenge Cain undertook. And this oh, is messed up. He has no right to sacrifice him for his revenge, but still, he kept reincarnating for who knows how long, remembering everything he did. And his grudge grew so big, that's all he can think of now. I feel sorry for him. Indeed. I wonder when his soul will find peace. Yeah. So even when he was reborn, he never lost the memories of his past lives. No wonder he was so good at predicting the future and people's actions and stuff. All his memories of the people he met and the things he saw were one big database. So what was that weird demon that attacked us? Its name was like, Loki? Loki is a trickster god of Norse mythology. Twister? Loki was half giant and so an enemy to the gods but also half God with his own powers. As both God and giant, he would deceive or assist whoever he pleased, friend or foe. Their interference has wasted our time. Let us get back to summoning Babel. The corruption of Tokyo is progressing even as we speak. Let us hurry. I sure hope that didn't end up splitting into two parts. Oh well, I'll see you guys in the finale of Amane's seventh day. See you guys then.